Somebody Looks Into Swirl here, new day, new tumbler project. This is a 30 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow. I sanded it, washed it, I spray painted it matte white first, a couple coats of Rust-Oleum 2X matte white, and when that was dry, I sprayed on two coats of Krylon Neon Green. We are now going to take it and apply Aline's Tacket Over and Over glue to it, diluted with some water. I have some already mixed up here. I'm going to brush on a layer and then let it dry for 15 minutes or so, and then I'll brush on a second layer off camera and bring you back when it's time to apply the glitter. Uh, adding some water to the Aline's just makes it a little easier to brush on and get a nice thin smooth layer. Let the first layer dry. I'll do a second layer and I'll bring you back when both layers are dry and it's time to put some glitter on this baby. Okay, we are going to be putting this SOC Sparkle Dust, which is a green holographic, super ultra fine additive. It's a sparkle dust. Sandy sells it at Sandy's Organized Chaos or SOC Glitters. And I got some and I want to put it on this neon green humbler that we just put the tacket on. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, put this on the paper towel dispenser and pick up my sparkle dust. Here we go, two, three fingers. I'm gonna make it lie flat and bring out that gorgeous hollow. You see it? The flat is along here and the fluffy is still here. See the rainbow effect coming through? Okay, now the bottom. And full hand. Alrighty. Look at how gorgeous that is. Wowzers. Love it. Probably mentioned this at least once or twice before. Various people have various ways of doing the burnishing part. I like this way. <laughs> it works for me. That's why I keep doing it this way. Other people swear by the alcohol sprayed on a paper towel method. Other people put gloves on to do it. I think somebody used a squeegee one time or a spatula or something. Whatever works for you is the correct way for you to do it. The whole purpose is to get the glitter that you just put on the tacket to lie down flat. However you can best do that, go for it. I'm all green and glittery now, which is not a bad thing. I'm gonna put this in my dump jar. I'm gonna take the cup outside and spray it with a Rust-Oleum clear spray just to seal the glitter on. And I'll bring it back and put a layer of resin on it and then we will go on to the next step. And we're back, okay. This turned out so pretty with a layer of resin on top. It brought back the hollow. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these sparkle dusts from SOC Glitters. They are just beautiful. It's not a glow in the dark, but it is intended to be Halloween, hence the green. I could save this and use it for Christmas with a Grinch sort of thing, but nope. <laughs> Halloween. We are gonna do a half and half. I'm going to have a cute Halloween side, and then I'm gonna have a more creepy Halloween side. I'm gonna do water slides, in case you couldn't figure that out from my setup here. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So I'm gonna put the cute side down first. This has gnomes in it, so you know it's cute. Because it is a Halloween graphic, there's a lot of black involved, so I don't know if I will have to double this. I would classify this as a light green, but at the same time, it's not a pale, super light green. So we'll see how this looks. If I need to double it, I can to get a better effect. I am using my Hippo, H-I-I-P-O-O, -O, or also also pronounced Hippo, water slide decal paper that I prefer using. I printed everything on my inkjet ink printer, which is, I think, a Canon Pixma. And then I sprayed it with two layers of Rust-Oleum 2X gloss clear spray paint, followed by a third layer, which is the Plasti Dip Glossifier. So it's personal preference. You need a clear spray of some kind, but it doesn't have to include Plasti Dip Glossifier if you don't want. Once you've got it where you want it, then get your squeegee, which is a silicone makeup brush, a little wet so it doesn't drag on the water slide and potentially tear it or stretch it. 
and squeegee out all the water and the wrinkles and the bubbles and all that. And now because I've decided to double this, just so you can see it more easily, I will do that. Much better. We're gonna to go to the dark side now. I wanna make sure I can put this down without endangering it, so I'm going to use the slimy sides of both of these pieces of backing paper to put my graphic on so that it doesn't come off. Make sure I'm right in the middle here. This other one is, is all black, so it shouldn't require more than just the one layer. We'll find out. The slimy side protected the other side, so yay. Thank you again, Ray, for that tip. Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Definitely check out her channel. I'll link to it below. Okay, so you have creepy, you have cute. I'm gonna let these dry overnight. I'm not gonna put resin on it yet. I'm going to bring you back and do something else. We have all this space at the top and the bottom, so I think I will be doing something further. Hey, we're back. Okay, all of these Water slides have dried that we put on yesterday. We've got the spooky side, we've got the cutish side, and I am now going to put borders up here and I'm gonna try and go cute border, cute border, and then we'll turn it over and we'll do creepy border, creepy border on the other side. So I have the two cute borders. This is gonna be kitties and moons and jack o -lantern. Oh, there's a couple bats, but relatively cute. And then up here, it's gonna be jack-o-lanterns. Creepy, cutesy. <laughs> I'll let everything dry again and then I will put resin over the entire cup and I will absolutely mix into it 504. So the next time you see this, it will have resin on it. It will have 504 in the resin. We should be out in the sunshine. So let's look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs>